Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. It's been a while, mainly because I decided to take Ilya off. Um, it's funny that when I decided to be like, hey, I'm gonna play both Japan and North American versions of fake Grand Order, that's when both versions decided to drop my most hated type of uh, event at the exact same time. <laughs> So instead of doing both, I decided to do. I decided to kind of lay off both of them, but I digress. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the brand new event that's coming, Valentine's 2021 Voices and Letters, featuring Murasaki Shikabu um, and the Seven Cursed Book. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to be going over the event, looking at the banner, looking at some of the CEs, and that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do. You can leave a like, comment, tell me about if you're going to be summoning for this one. There's actually a lot of specific days um, where you can, you're can you able to get like a kind of shared rate up on the banners, which I'll kind of go over them a little bit too. Uh, and subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff. Uh, so let's get into it. So yeah, this is Valentine's Day 2021. Um, that's Murasaki Shikabu. Uh, I, she is a Raita servant, as you can tell from right here. I sure as hell hope that I can get her in the thumbnail because I've been having some trouble with some of the bigger um, endowed women. That's the that's the proper and gentlemanly way of saying it. Anyway, Chaldea, Chaldea's underground library has become a popular gathering spot among the servants. The library created by the magical energy of the current librarian is home to various books from many times and places and the servants are drawn to the allure of the treasure trove of text. Our tale begins with a single book bathe in magical energy that slumbers in your library in the library why did this book emit a magical light and vanish only to return as seven accursed books happy valentine's day all right so that's what the, the event has so far but let's actually look at the what the event has in store and using the power of the future we will look uh clairvoyance ex technically speaking so challenge event quest to get poetry composition points and event items um, so it's a point ladder, as you can see right here, point rewards. The last one is at 3 million, I believe. Yeah, 3 million. It's a lot. Um, if you're new to kind of Valentine's Day, the Valentine's Day also has special Valentine's Day rewards, which we'll talk about down here. Collect two types of chocolates as you accumulate poetry composition points. Lock on chocolate. Receive a Valentine's gift for a servant of your choice. And surprise chocolate. Receive a Valentine's gift. Day gift from a random servant um so yeah basically the way that the valentine's day event kind of rolls down is that you get a bunch of valentine's treats from either men or women or sometimes the there you know there's some that are in between like uh inkiru for example is technically either both genders or no gender depending on how you want to view inkiru uh i'm probably saying it their name wrong point is uh, moving on. The lock-on chocolate is a way for you to basically... <laughs> you'll get a lot more surprise chocolates than you'll get lock-on chocolates. Lock-on chocolate is basically there so you can get the one that you want most without having to rely on RNG. Um, it used to be that um, you collected servant medals and then you got them that way. But it seems like that was a good way for a lot of people to just specifically get the Valentine's Day scene of the unit they cared about and then stop playing the event. So chances are we got this huge smorgasbord of random along with lock-on chocolates um the cool thing about this time around is as it says right here each servant's valentine scene will be fully voiced hear a special valentine's only message from your favorite servants that includes the old ones so all the old ones um you're gonna have to get again if you want to hear it i think they kind of explain it a little bit later on um Shikabu will get the following bonuses. She'll get attack strength up 100% and 50% bond point increase. Uh, this is what will increase the poetry, and this is right here the craft essences, craft essences on the banners that will help out with the basic, you know, um, point reward stuff. I don't think there's anything super crazy about the the CEs from this year from what I remember. This is also kind of how the setup is going to be. So as you can see, it, the, the main quests are on a time delay of sorts. Right? Now verse 1. Yeah, so verse 1 and 2 are available right away. And then the next day, verse 3, verse 4, etc, etc, up until verse 7. Um, this is a brand new Ascension skill up item. The Tsukuhime Mirror. Or is that the right way of saying it? Something like that. Um... So here's the thing about specifically um, voice stuff. 
for old units. Valentine's scenes will be fully voiced only for Valentine's craft essences that you claim within the year's events. Voices will not automatically be added to the Valentine's scenes from the events of 2020 and earlier already viewable material in my room. You must exchange chocolate for a Valentine's craft essence during this year's order to in order to record the fully voiced scene and the materials in my room. Even if you received a Valentine's craft essence in a previous year's event, you must exchange chocolate for the gift again this year. It will be possible to receive Valentine's craft essences that you have already claimed in previous events. In that case, the fully voiced chocolate, the fully voiced Valentine scene will be played back and recorded in the material in my room. If you currently hold a Valentine's craft essence from a previous event, you can't you can play the Valentine scene, but you will not receive another copy of the Valentine's Craft Essence at that time. You can claim the Valentine's Craft Essence from a gift chocolate or give chocolates event item exchange after using this copy you currently hold as, ex as enhancement material or selling it. And about mashes, after you clear main uh, quest section 1 of this event, fully voice version of Mashu Kiru Laitu. Valentine's scene from Valentine's 2018 event will be added to Valentine's 2021 event US within material in my room. Um, MASH's fully voiced Valentine scene will be available as long as you fulfill the above requirements even if you did not participate in the past event. Uh, Mashukiro Light's Valentine scene will not be played back when you claim the craft essence Caldea standard from Exchange, Rare Prism, and Da Vinci's Workshop. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know... Maybe just chalk it up to, you know, the uh, specific app for Fake Grand Order was put together with duct tape and rubber bands. Um, if you're not aware of the origins of Fake Grand Order when it launched, it launched a mess. I think it had to go under like two weeks of maintenance at the beginning. Either one week or two week. It was pretty damn long. Um, just because nothing was working. Um, and so that, <laughs> that not working app has been basically... Anytime anything weird happens, like specifically this, where it's like, that's dumb. Shouldn't it be pretty easy for everyone to just have the voice stuff? The answer is always they're working with a bad app. So the only thing they could do is, I guess, fully redo the app. That's always been my understanding of it. Um, who actually knows? Maybe they really felt like, eh, it'd be easier to do it this way. I don't actually know. But that's what I assume to be the, the case. Um, now let's get into event cards. You also get these command codes. Bright of the White Rose, recover party's HP by 200 when attacking using the engraved card. Star Severing Evil, Sacred Sword. Increase critical damage against Saber enemies by 25% on the engraved card. And Dub Report, remove one critical damage up buff when attacking using the engraved card. If successfully removed the buff, inflict critical attack chance down by 10% for three turns to them. Here's the Craft Essence. It has NP gain buster and 30% starting NP. Let me see, when it goes to fully awaken, does it have... It has 50%, all right. This actually seems pretty solid. It's a shame it's buster and not quick or um, quicker arts. That seems kind of dumb to give it the buster now that I look at it, but whatever. Ooh, bittersweet, invincibility two times, NP damage 25%. That's pretty good. I think that's one less than... Um, Volume hydratious, yeah, it's three. And it also doesn't do the increased damage by 200, but whatever. Valkyrie style, 3% NP charge per turn, NP damage 15%. Memory of Quaaludes? No, Koala. One critical star per turn, <laughs> NP gain 3% crit damage. It's nothing special. It's another three star, but it does help with this drop, so. Farming guide, don't have to look at that. I mean, if you want to look at it right here, we'll know more when the actual event starts, but I think it should be pretty basic once you get into there. Um, here's the specific shop, the brand new material item. Let me see what unit uses these, because I'm not actually 100% sure. Oh, I guess spoilers if you don't want to know future up upcoming servants, but let's see the brand new Ushi, um, Mysterious Elephant, who I'm not saying the identity in case someone wants to actually keep it. Astrea, Kiara Summer, Armpit Ruler, Himiko, uh, Yang, uh, Lakshimba, Watsumunasuna, 
both of these, both of the Murasaki, Say Say, I believe is her name, Say, just Say. Um, oh, comma, damn, it's common needs six of them, so it's good to get six of them. Ooh, Berserker Musashi, that's actually, yeah, okay. Oh, and Monkey Arjuna? Damn. Alright, not a lot of, not a lot of units use these, but enough of them where you kind of like, it's good to have the 20, the 10 that they're offering here. You know, you never know when you're getting, you might potentially get one of those servants. Um, let me look at the other ones. So yeah, you, you know, you got Scarab of Wisdom, you got the Plaque Tallow, uh, you got the Night Metals. And then over here, you got the Gun Bullets, the, I, the Fluid, I forget that that's the name of it. And the Stinger. Yeah. Not the greatest shop, to be honest, if I'm being 100% real. And here you can sell these if you end up not caring. Or you get your dudes early, I guess. Um, main quest, free quest, point rewards. Yeah, this is this. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's a lot. There's some tickets. Tickets are always good. I'll probably get the full 3 million. Um, CE list. This is insane because it's literally like every servant. I, re I have so many of these. Challenge quest, I'll let people experience that for themselves. And here is Murasaki. Um, so let's go, go over Murasaki real quick. Just because Murasaki is a little bit weird. She's quick, quick, arts, arts, buster. Uh, four, four hits on quick, four hits on um, arts, and four hits on buster, and five on extra, which is pretty all right. Her active skill reduces all enemies' defense for three turns and increases party damage against demonic enemies. And at level 10, it's 30% defense down and 30% damage up to, dam to demons. Uh, Witchcraft Lyric D+, chance to seal one enemy's NP for one turn, charges on NP gauge, increases on NP damage for three turns. The NP seal chance is uh, 80%, it's 30% NP up for her and 20% NP damage. And her third skill is Diary of Murasaki Shikabu. Reduces party damage taken for three turns, uh, for three attacks for three turns, grants party debuff immunity for one time three turns, and increases the party's buff removal resistance by 100% for one time three turns. And damage taken at level 10 less is 1000. And her passive skills are Territory Creation C+, increases on Arts Performance by 7%, and Item Construction C, increases on debuff success by 6%. And our noble phantasm is called uh, Genji Matagori Oi Monoso, the tale of Genji, the monster. Chapter 9, the monster. Um, it hits six times, and it deals damage to all enemies and inflicts buff block status to them for one turn. Um, at NP level 1, which is what most people will have unless you're Lerp, it's 450% damage. And the overcharge effect is deal extra damage to demonic enemies. It's 150% damage up at... Uh, charge 100% and at the final charge level it's 200% so and this is the specific material stuff that she needs it's nothing too hard to get except oh, the, the, her needing the mirrors <laughs> that's actually kind of a bummer if I'm being 100% honest but hopefully the mirrors aren't that hard to get um, so I feel like she's kind of in a weird place right now Murasaki is weird because she has an arts AoE and arts, uh, arts in the current meta is totally usable. If you have two Tamamos and the right setup of units, you can totally loop and you can have a fun old time. Um, that's not the current meta, though. The current meta is usually either Quick or Buster. If you need something dead, you get Buster. If you need something <laughs> uh, three turns, you get Quick. That's currently basically what it is. Um, so some arts units for this year can kind of feel like, oh, well, she's great, or, you know, I don't know, 100%. Murasaki feels weird because she feels super specific to just demonic dudes, but I want to see how many demonic enemies we actually have in the game. Not a lot. The, <laughs> the answer I found is not a lot. Uh, let me look at traits for demon, because there's 100% more demons, I know for sure. Really? There's not a lot of demons. Then what the hell are those? No, let me look at enemy traits. That's what I'm looking at. There we go. There we go. So actually, looking at some of these demons, you know, you see a fair amount of skeletons, and you see a lot of werewolves, and you see a lot of ghosts. So actually, I take that back. I think she could actually be pretty damn solid um, for an AoE um, unit, now that I look at some of the list, You see a lot of these dudes when you're farming. Um, 
But my main thing that I was about to say, which I got totally distracted from, is that currently the arts meta isn't really in the North America version of the game. But when Castoria shows up for our anniversary, not this one, the next one, um, the focus of Fate Grand Order will be on the arts meta. And that will be our new meta for the game. And that's when units like this get a significant buff in what they do. Um, I haven't looked up the... Sp Whenever I think of specifically a um, arts caster, <laughs> I think of... of um, Shirazade, not uh, Murasaki, but it seems like she'd be perfectly fine, especially if you're just looking to grind. Um, having six hits is very good, and if you're in a situation where there's a big enemy, having four hits on the arts is also pretty good for getting NP charge. Let me see, her NP charge attack is 0.45%. Alright, I think that's about... Let me look at... Um, let me look at her. Let me look at Shirazade. I know Shirazade after the buff is very good for farming it, but let me see. Just slightly better, so. But it doesn't matter. The point is is that if you love Murasaki, there's totally a metaphor coming. You buy, you probably have to kind of deal with um, the lack of Tumbamo friends, because it's actually super hard to find a uh, Tumbamo friend. But you can totally use her, I think. Um, some of her skills can be a little bit hit or miss, depending on- or situational actually is the right word I'm looking for. Uh, but other than that, she seems perfectly fine. I'm definitely gonna try and summon for her, but that's because she's a, a Raita Servant, and I love... Love the Raita Servants, but I digress. And then her actual banner, which is this super weird, cool thing about it, is that there's a whole butt of, buttload of Raid Up Servants on it. <laughs> So if you just want her, then your best shot is right when it comes out. But then you'll notice that the days afterwards, she actually shares her banner with a lot of other female units like Altera, um, the crazy nurse who I'm forgetting, Nightingale, um, Artemis, Maeve, um, Lancer, Saber, Songzong, oh god, what's it called? Um, Jack? Jack's a very good unit. It was more like I was listing off these like beautiful women, tiny girl. Um, a very good girl though. She needs pants. Please give Jack pants. Fucking arcade took Jack's pants. Anastasia, Jean, or Jean, uh, Hime, Mo, um, Setonia, Drake, oops, um, Saber, Tamamo, which I was specifically talking about. Uh, Bradamante and Sherazade and her there. So if you're looking, some of these units actually have a very hard time getting a focus, focus up banner. Like I usually don't see Jack and a lot of focus up banners where it's just, uh, there's an uh, increased chance of getting her. Um, so for some of these units, it will be a good chance for you to try and get them. Do know that it is still a 50-50 shot. So if you were to get a five star and it's a featured unit, Again, you're, it's a coin flip. And you're saying, well, if I'm spending a whole bunch of St. Quartz, what are the chances of me getting bad luck over and over and over again? Um, and I will say specifically, I'm pretty sure Lerp, my good friend from Trash Alliance, spent, mm, I think, over a thousand St. Quartz um, to get uh, Setonia over here. Um, he didn't get Setonia. He did get an MP5 Murasaki, and that's what eventually got him to stop rolling on the banner. You see what I mean here? A coin flip is a coin flip. So if you're specifically looking for one unit on here, so for example, if I was going for Quetz, you're saying like, Woki, you love Quetz, why don't you go for her? The answer is, is that I also have a 50-50 chance of it being uh, Murasaki. And if, it's, if I'm in a personal quest looking for a unit, I want a solo rate up. That's my thing, because solo rate ups can at least have a better chance and not have the 50 50 split. Again, it's very weird for. You don't see a lot of people talking about, like, I guess, banners with multiple featured SSRs, but it, it is weird where if you want a specific unit, then you have to kind of wait and summon for when they're on a solo. Otherwise, there's always going to be a chance that if you do get the featured unit, you're going to get the wrong one. That's what I'm basically trying to say here. So, summon with caution. Um, again, I'm going to be trying for Murasaki, but I'm probably only going to do, like, maybe only two. Some of these CEs are really good. I like this one. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Valentine's Day 2021. 
Um, it should be a pretty simple event. It Don't let the point ladder scare you. Point ladder events are very easy. It's not that hard. Um, at least I don't think so. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Again, leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I had to go back to grinding the Ilya events. <laughs> Goodbye. I only got like a couple of hours left. <laughs>